Hello, my name is Alan Hawes. I'm Senior Vice President of Technical Staff for Solutions and Software here at Cypress Semiconductor. Welcome to Cypress Academy. This is the first video of a series of about 40 or so that will provide you short fundamental lessons in the programming of WICKED Wi-Fi. You might ask, what is WICKED Wi-Fi? Well, WICKED stands for Wireless Internet Connectivity for Embedded Devices. But what is it? Simple. It's the best IoT embedded Wi-Fi on the face of the planet, bar none. Cypress stands for helping you solve your problems. But I think the best way to solve Wi-Fi problems is not to create them in the first place, as they are so, so hard to debug in the field with your products. It's been about one year since Cypress acquired the Broadcom IoT division. This last year has been one of the best and funnest technical years of my life as I've gotten to learn how to use the Wicked Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chips. They are truly remarkable as you will see in this series of videos. All of my learning has been codified into my textbook which I call Cypress Academy Wicked Wi-Fi 101. For those of you who didn't go to school in the US, the introduction class in most universities is often called 101 and they are all about providing you the fundamental skills required to move to more advanced classes. That's exactly what this class is all about, teaching you all of the fundamental skills required to be successful with Wicked Wi-Fi. You can get a copy of this book and all of the software required for the class on our website, cypress.com. Moreover, you can post and discuss your questions and problems in our developers community. Or if you have something else, or you just want to chat, please feel free to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com or tweet me at askiotexpert. This class is all about the Internet of Things, IoT. If you follow all of the videos, you will have the skills to build your own IoT device, from reading and writing the GPIOs, to using the I2C, to making threads, semaphores, and mutexes in the RTOS, using the library, attaching to the Wi-Fi network, reading and writing the DCT, making TCP IP servers and clients, and finally using MQTT to attach to the Amazon.com IoT cloud. But hang on, let's do one step at a time. For this class, I will build all of the projects on this dev kit called the CY943907AEVAL1. This board has a Wi-Fi radio module with the 43907, a 160 or 320 megahertz Cortex R4, and the world's finest 802.11n radio. The board also has a programmer debugger and a serial bridge, an Ethernet PHY, an SD card expansion slot, as well as Arduino compatible expansion headers. For some of the exercises in this class, I will also use the PSOC4 analog front end shield, which has a PSOC4 analog coprocessor acting as an I2C slave for the Wicked board. But more on that later. This class has seven chapters, which I will turn into the 40-ish videos. The seven chapters are, number one, a survey of the Wicked Wi-Fi ecosystem. Number two, using MCU peripherals like the GPIOs, the I2C, PWMs, and all the other peripherals. Number three, using the Wicked RTOS. Number four, the Wicked library. Number five, making connections to Wi-Fi networks. Number six, TCP IP socket-based communication. And finally, number seven, using MQTT in the Amazon IoT cloud. In the first lesson, I will show you Wicked Studio, our Eclipse-based IDE, which is your gateway to developing Wicked IoT products. You can post your comments and questions in our Wi-Fi developer community, or as always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore oz at cypress.com, or tweet me at askiotexpert with your comments, suggestions, and criticisms. Thank you.